yourself with growth. And I think, you know, your result is your product. And if you're able to measure that, it, you know, you'll go a long way. You know, sometimes, you know, you don't get that gold around your neck. Sometimes you don't, you know, win what you're trying to get, but taking a step back and really just understanding your journey and reflecting on it, showing yourself that like you, you've just gained so much growth, so much experience that you can utilize that going forward um, is so impactful and so meaningful. 17 years and counting of you being in a world of fencing. Have there ever been moments where there was either an injury or a sprain or something like what does an athlete such as yourself and at your caliber, Andrew, what do you go through and have there been injuries? What has the rehabilitation process been like? And has it ever affected your emotional mental health where you're like, Oh my God, can I get back into this? (laughs) Um, it is sports, right? So there's always um, freak accidents where you get injured. And as much of like, you know, preventative like work you do for on your body, there's always some kind of accident that happens. Um, I actually had to pull out in Tokyo in the team event after I got a, excuse me, I forget what the terminology of the injury was. It was a bone contusion and sprain of like ligaments in my ankle had to pull out. It was very heartbreaking. I mean, you know, I love to compete. Having to pull out from that competition was kind of tough. I mean, it was tough. I'm not going to undermine it. Um, And then you have to be patient, you know, you know, growth is quiet. Destruction is loud. And, you know, you got to bunker in, do be, you know, we have rehabilitation work that you need to just get stronger. You know, it happened and it happened. Got to accept and just keep going. But, yeah, like you mentioned, Stephen, um, I never wish any injury on any other athlete. It's one of the most, like, detrimental, like, not just on the physical body, but on the mental body as well. Um, you know, anxiety kicks in if you can perform to the same level you just were. Um, you know, the timeline of when you'd be able to get healthy again. There's so many different factors, and it, it can be tough. It can be tough. There seems to be – a lot what I see fencing as this is my interpretation like it kind of reminds me of Bruce Lee there's a lot of movement there's a lot of focus there's there's a dance to this so it's more than just like that that Star Wars lightsaber um, that you shared about it really is a connection and an extension and and what is that 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 you hold again I don't want to it's not a rod like what is the the term <laughs> to that <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's three different weapons in fencing. There's foil, epi, and saber. Each one has their own little change in rules and target area. The one I do is saber. So think of like a lightsaber, but, you know, if we cut out the light in it, maybe in the future they'll incorporate lightsabers. But for now, we're just going to call it saber. I like that. So so in that movement, in that dance, once again, it reminds me of – Bruce Lee back in, in the movies that, um, that he used to do, does it feel very energetic? And I don't mean just energetic and just energy, but is there a connection that starts flowing through and through within you and outside of you? And then as you connect to your counterpart, where's the connection? I love how you brought up Bruce Lee. I think that's a great comparison to the sport. Um, you know, fencing is like dancing. I also like to call it the physical game of chess. And much like dancing, if you're dancing with a partner, you need to understand their movement, right? You're constantly calculating, you know, what their next step is. And it has this, like, beautiful flow to it where you're constantly thinking what your opponent's going to do. And if it doesn't work out, you're, you know, reverse psychology, like what I should do and back and forth. Um, So there is that flow, you know. And you have to be, you know, it is, oh, man, like, I could so get into this right now. (laughs) Get into it. Uh, yeah so like you know there is so much energy you know you you, when the referee says ready fence you know these touches score within 10 to 15 seconds if not less right and within those like few seconds you put in so much energy into you know that one touch right and you know it's this flow between you and your opponent where you're trying to like reverse psychology each other in terms of like body movement um and like, like you mentioned, you know, it is like a dance and you're going back and forth and it's a, it's a beautiful thing. 